Travis Wayne Goodsell. There's a non-subscriber on my channel, one of my channels, who is taunting me to get on Zoom with him to demonstrate my knowledge of the Christopher. I don't know, <clears throat> which I think everybody knows. Christopher um, wrote the book called The Sealed Portion, and uh, he was caught on clip as before a lecture he commented to one of the persons that uh, he did it to show how Mormons are so brainwashed that they can't think for themselves to research things and realize what's false and what's true. And, uh, and so it's a non-issue for me. I've downloaded his book uh, and there's free downloads available if you can find it and uh, read through it. I enjoyed it. It was entertaining. But uh, there's what's called anachronisms that uh, he falls prey to, which is a common thing in my profession to watch for. For uh, people love to present frauds and false documents and such. <clears throat> and, uh, and so, yeah. I, his sealed portion is a false document uh, because of the obvious anachronisms that are in there. Moroni, for example, rather than Nephi. So if he'd actually done his research, checked the Joseph Smith papers, uh, he would learn some of these anachronisms. Mormons should check the Joseph Smith papers. Uh, the church is making it available, free online. If you're filthy rich, you can buy the published versions. And so there's really no excuse for Mormons to continue to remain ignorant about Mormonism and Mormonism's origins. Uh, you can realize that the prophets are lying to you by going over the Joseph Smith papers. I did. I've been doing videos to warn you about it. 19 July, 1840B. Just Google search it. 19 July, 1840B. Joseph Smith Papers, you can even type in full transcript, that shows you the original transcript, and uh, you'll see that the church is a fraud. So it is interesting that they still perpetuate Joseph Smith, the Book of Mormon, the one true church, Brigham Young as a true successor, etc. Even the Relief Society, uh, the big debate that I've heard about my whole life in the Mormon church about do women have the priesthood and was it taken away by Brigham Young? Yes. Yes it was. Just like priesthood for the blacks. But Brigham Young was a white supremacist. That's why there's the inverted pentagram. That's why racism, sexism, bigotry, hatred of the Jews, etc, etc, etc. This is not Joseph's church. And, uh, and and so to battle Christopher over a non-issue because Christopher knows what he's doing he's confessed so why challenge him on knowledge it's ridiculous and the person who's peer pressuring me is just turning me off he's annoying me he's going to get himself banned because <clears throat> anybody who peer pressures me well, shut them off. You try to flatter, pacify, and deceive me? Nope. You become my enemy. I want nothing to do with people who try to get me to do things. This whole white supremacy thing that's being talked about with January 6th, I've grown up with that kind of white supremacy among my peers growing up in grade school. They were the ones that were bullying and peer pressuring people to cause harm to themselves or others and um, laugh about it and outward lie, hoping they would spread the lies around. So, yeah, I know all about that kind of crap. And uh, I don't want nothing to do with it. So, yeah, this guy, if he's genuine, he needs to understand it's a non-issue. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to discuss. There's nothing to debate. 
in regards to who's got the bigger brain.